first step, find the data plug. This little guy here. Plug your connector in, make sure this is plugged into there. USB cord, the other end of the USB cord should be plugged into your computer. Next step is clicking on the install that it comes up on your flash drive. So you may get this warning, click more info, and then run anyways. This step you'll say yes, then hit next, and then next. Finish. I agree. And then next. Now you turn the vehicle on. Next. Right here. So it won't come up with this step on its own. You'll have to click the down arrow. Click ME 17.8. Are you sure you know better? You want to click yes. Next to proceed. And from here we want to Go into software options. Do not correct the checksums. Program ECU. We have disabled it. Yes, we know. Now we want to go to our flash. We gotta look for our removal disk. Level one. and then it's installing it. It's that simple. So from here on out we're just going to wait for it to go through. And then just gotta be patient during this part. It takes a few minutes to go through. And it is important not to disconnect your cords during this process because if you do, uh, you may need to send the ECU in to us at Bike Man Performance, and there is a, uh, we can recover anything, uh, but there will be a charge for it. But don't worry, uh, if you do screw something up, we can always fix it.
And it's getting towards the end here. It's been about three minutes flashing so far, and that's completely normal. Looks like we got about 40 seconds left. And when you're choosing your flash, uh, and you'll see the three different tunes. Uh, the one we have listed as a stock uh, boost level tune. Uh, that one is no more pressure than stock. It just carries it out to full RPM. And the fuel and timing corrections are matched to the exhaust system. Uh, level 2 is a 14 PSI tune. Uh, it's good with 91 octane. And uh, the level 3 tune is a 14.5 PSI tune. And that does require 93 octane. So at this step, it'll say, uh, turn the ignition off. So we'll turn the ignition off. Then we'll click OK, and from this point on, we can start the vehicle, and it's in there. If it went through that entire process, we know that it is in your ECU because it's verifying it the entire way through. And uh, from here on, you can enjoy your tune. Thank you.